Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be learning how to create these fun, super cool OBS overlays and all using PowerPoint. Something like this, where you can have your name and your class displayed. You can make it colorful and have your class objective along with homework problems. Or you can have a custom overlay where you display your class objective, your name, and even a scrolling text for your homework. But if you're teaching elementary, you might wanna have fun with your students and have something like this because Easter is coming up or even hearts for Valentine's Day. Like always, I do all the research for you and leave a free download link in the description box below along with teaching you how to edit and customize it for your personal needs just so that you can spend more time with your students. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am on my blank PowerPoint presentation. The first thing I would like to do is to make sure my slide is a wide screen. To do that, I click on design, slide size, and yes, it is widescreen 16 to 9. Once that's done, I'm going to click on insert, shapes, I'm inserting a rectangle, and I'm going to make sure the rectangle is as close as possible to the slide. That looks perfect. Once that's done, I'm going to right click, format shape. I do not want any fill but I would definitely like to have a width of 10. This is my size. I like to have this uh, size 10, but it's totally up to you. If you want to have a wider overlay, a wider border around your screen, you can do that. I teach math, so I like to have more area to write. Once that is done, you can always go ahead and change the color to red if you want to. Or I would like to give it that gradient feel. So to do that, I simply click on gradient. And as you can see right now, the border of this slide already is gradient with white and blue. And this is where the magic happens. You can keep this if you want, or you can change the colors. To change the colors, you simply click on the little gradient tab and click on this pen or color button and change the gradient. As you can see now that's red now let me add I'm gonna drag this and click on that and change that to a yellow as you can see now I have three colors I am going to drag it a little bit go ahead play with it so you can see um, how your gradient looks like and I'm gonna drag this here and I think I want this to be a green and the last one to be this blue color there you go, now I have it. If you don't like the way it looks, simply drag these gradients to different positions so you can see exactly where you want the color to be positioned. And another trick is, as you can see, the type of the gradient I'm using is linear. Go ahead, change it to radial to see how the feel is. Change it to rectangular or even change it to path. And I always recommend playing with the angles as well. Here I'm 45 degrees angle. Go ahead, play with the angle so you can see how the colors are positioned around your border. Now, once that's done, if you're happy with it, then we can go ahead with the next step. But this is what I like to suggest. I always use the website called colors.co, colors with a double O, where it gives me a variety of colors. Sometimes I don't know what colors I want. So this is the website I use to pick ideas and bright colors. All you have to do is click on your snip and sketch, use your snipping tool to pick the gradient or the color palette that you want. Once that's done, simply copy it, go back to your PowerPoint and simply paste it. As you can see, now it's all my color palette is right inside it. Now all I have to do is click on my rectangular box again, right click, format shape. You can go from here or even from up here. But I like to right click and go to format shape and now I'm going to change these gradients and this is very simple all you have to do is click on that little tab right there click on your colors and use your eyedropper I'm gonna click on my eyedropper and pick this color boom the color has changed I'm gonna click on the next gradient tab use my eyedropper drag it all the way to orange and there you go now I have orange change the green Use the eyedropper, pink, I'm going to the blue. Use the eyedropper, change it to purple. Now I'm left out with one more color. 
that's not a problem at all. You can simply drag these gradients and add a new gradient and drag it and now change the color to blue. And again, if you don't like the positions, play with these tabs, move them around, see which one you like. Always play with the angles, the linear, the rectangular, or the path. Now, once this is done, I'm going to click on this and delete it. If you simply want to have a plain border, then right click and save this as a picture. But I want to go ahead and add those tabs where I can have my name and even have a box where I can display the class objective and also scroll my text. To do that, I'm going to click on insert again, shape. But this time, I would like to pick this rectangle that has a cornered um, edge or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to simply draw this. As you can see, it gives me that little tab feeling. There you go. I like that. And once this is done, I'm going to drag it and leave it right here. Perfect. I'm going to copy this. and. I'm going to drag this all the way here, move it to the top. If it's not exactly where you want it, press and hold the Alt button and drag it to wherever you want. That's good. Now I would like to have one more box just to display my homework. So there it is. That's good enough. All right, I like the way it is. Now it's very simple, very easy to change all these gradients for all these three boxes. All you have to do is click on the border that you have created with all the gradient colors, go to home, double click on format painter, and once you see this brush, make sure you click twice or thrice. Sometimes you have to click one more time, but you have to make sure you see this brush. Once you see this brush, simply go ahead and click on all your rectangles so you don't have to recreate those gradients. Now, once that's done, the border is too thick, so I am going to select, press and hold shift, select all three of these, and here I am changing the width to, let's see, yeah, that should be good. Again, always play with what you like. I like this, this is perfect. I'm going to reduce it just a little bit. There you go. That's perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the angle here so the blue of this box matches with the yellow, yellow of the other box. And all I have to do is go here, change, and see which one I like. Yeah, that looks good. Same is the case with this one. I'm going to play with the boxes here. That's good. Same as the case with this one. I'm going to play with the boxes. Perfect. Now, once you decide and once you're happy or content with what you want, you can leave it like this. But I always like to have a little box where I can put my video into. But you can go ahead and create that if you want. I am okay with this one. And all I'm going to do is Control A. I'm selecting everything and grouping them together. So Control G. Everything is grouped together. Now I will right click and save as picture and i'm going to my desktop where is my obs file here is my obs file and i'm going to say overlay number five and i'm going to click save now let's go ahead and plug this into our obs so once you're in your obs i'm going to click this plus sign here add my image and I'm going to say overlay. I always recommend labeling so you know exactly what the image is. I'm just going to say overlay five and I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to browse. And this was overlay five that we just created. I'm going to click open and click OK. Let me lock my camera here. Now you see the, the overlay is not exactly how you want it to be. So minimize it, drag it. Now I'm going to expand it just a little bit. That's good. Use your shift button to adjust it however you want. There you go. That's perfect. Now once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and add my text. 
So here I have my text. I'm going to use the text that I already created. So here is my name. I'm going to say Mrs. Cola's math class. That's too big. I'm going to reduce it and drag it down and put it right here. And again, totally depends on how you want it and where you want it. I'm going to add another text here telling my students what today's class objective is. Here is my class objective. I always recommend when you're using your text, use the highest font because when you use the smallest font and maximize it, it kind of gets pixelated. So I highly recommend using the largest font and then minimizing it. So you keep, oops, there you go. That is perfect. Just gonna expand it just a little bit. There you go. So today's objective is 7.2 confidence intervals, and I do not want my students to miss the most important thing, which is my homework problems. And I am going to minimize this one. So now that you have seen how to create an overlay, let me show you how to go ahead and edit from the download link that I have given you. Again, this is what you have. If you don't like something, all you have to do is click on the image right click format shape and here is your gradient simply click on the color that you don't like and click on the color palette here and pick the one that you want it's as simple as that i'm gonna pick a blue here and again always use this to customize your colors and once you're happy with it you simply click on your border or your overlay right click save it as an image and upload it to OBS like we just did. Now let me go ahead and show you another fun way of creating hot symbols or now that Easter is coming up, a Easter overlay onto your OBS just in case you're teaching those elementary kids. Let me go ahead and insert a new slide. I'm going to delete all of this. Insert shape. I'm going to insert a heart shape here. There you go. I like that. I'm going to move it all the way to the edge. I'm going to fill this up with red color and the outline I'm going to pick yeah, a darker red. Once you're happy with the heart and the size, click on the heart, press Ctrl D, drag it to where you want it. I think I like that. And then keep pressing Ctrl D and there you have your new border. Now, once you get to the end, maybe you don't want it all the way there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this lot, last little heart and control D again and drag it all the way to the bottom and then keep pressing control D again. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and complete this. And once you're happy with the border, control A, select everything and group it control G. And then all you have to do is right click and save it as a picture. There you go. I already saved it, so here is my heart. Now let me go ahead, insert a new slide, and show you how you can create a border with different shapes and fill images in them. So here I am inserting a shape. I'm gonna pick an oval size just because it's Easter. I'm going to zoom in. And here I have my oval shape. I'm just gonna make it just a little bit. That's perfect. And I don't want to fill anything here. I'm simply going to click Control D and drag it and leave it there. Control D again. Control D. I love Control D. It does the magic for me. Let me go ahead and complete this. So once you're done, I will go ahead, select everything, and I'm going to right click and format object. And here you have an option to fill each of these eggs with whatever you want. So I'm going to click on picture and I'm going to click insert. I'm going to click on online pictures and here I'm going to search for bunny. I'm just going to pick Easter bunny. I think I like this bunny right here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click insert. And voila, here you have Easter bunny filled eggs as your overlay and once this is done once you, once you're happy with the way it looks control a control g to group it and then right click and save it as a picture and once you save it you simply upload it to obs as a bunny 
or as a hot. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really need this overlays feature just to make his or her classes fun. And please stay tuned for many more video overlays, something like you see on the screen, or maybe something like this, or even like this. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.